All right, welcome to the video. Methodical Man here coming to you on a Monday. Going to do a quick review for you guys. Going to have a highlight video for you. Just kind of go over the accounts today, um, how we did. We ended up uh, $905 in green on this eval here. And uh, we ended up $715 here on this eval. And then a couple of our funded accounts at about $315. And that's pretty much all we took today. Um, so overall a green day, but we're going to go ahead and, uh, jump into the, uh, review here and show you guys a few of the trades, a few of the highlights. So stay tuned. Liking how we're just holding here. Well, we want to see a candle close above. We close above, we'll take it. And then our, our stop will be a close back below. And if we get some momentum here, like pushing up, then we'll go ahead and just jump in. I don't like doing that. Oof, come on now. All right, we're going to jump in here with just one for now. I wanted to take three, but 184 contracts just as aggressively entered. 185 with fine. Stop to break even once this candle closes and we sweep the next internal liquidity. So if this candle closes here and then we close above, we push above here, I'll go to break even. If we close above and we pull back and retest the gap, then I'll add. And we'll take this offer just to close below. Right at the VWAP. Yeah. We do have relatively equal lows down here, which I don't love, but they're right next to each other. It's not the worst thing in the world. So we're gonna close above here. Then I'll uh then we pull back and test the gap, I'll probably add. This could just be a liquidity grab before kind of moving lower as well. So we gotta close above, so we know a close below will take us out of the position. And the next swing is gonna be here, so we'll kind of use this. We'll use this for our break-even stop. This is pretty tight, but so once we sweep here, we'll go break-even stop. You could if you wanted to be. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go a little bit higher here because I did notice during London that these stops are manipulated a little more. So I might, um, I might wait for this one. Thanks, AE. Appreciate it. Doesn't always work, but we try to use common sense, right? Yeah, they didn't hit it yet. Yeah. I think it, I think it continues. I mean, this gap seems to be fine. I think that we probably take it up to the 28s, but your kind of low-hanging fruit here would just be the 709 area. 710, really. The 184 was definitely an ad along, yeah. I think it wants to go higher too, but it could be wrong. If we retest the gap here, I will add, like I said. Really not risking all that much here. Close below, I mean, we're risking maybe like six, seven handles. You know, if we get a close below, maybe ten at the most. So not a huge, not a huge deal here. Six ninety six, yeah. Hey, 
Okay, so we kind of retest the gap here. I will, I will pyramid in here. If we don't, we'll just stick with a single contract. I don't like using the single contract because you can't really scale, but it'll be fine. Shrewd Aggle added three separate times along, 693. Nice job. Like I said, I mean, you could have been adding off the VWAP here. I just trying to wait for the model, you know, trying to wait for the model that I'm trading to trigger. Not loving the uh, little bit of wickage here, but. But obviously, we're going to have to display a little more patience here during London. It's not going to be instant gratification like you get uh, during New York. <laughs> it's not the instant gratification or the instant knowledge of knowing whether you've, you're right or wrong. But we'll see what happens here. We'll see what happens. Like I said, normally during New York, if we created a swing and we re-breached above the swing, I would go to break even at that point. But I'm noticing here during London when I do that, more often than not, I'm getting stopped and then price is going and I'm sitting here on my hands. So I'm going to try to go a little bit. So my break even stop should be here. I'm going to try to give it a little bit more distance, a little more room here and wait for the 05s to go to my break even stop. But normally in New York, this would be my break-even stop. And this is how I keep the win percentage high. Because once you breach this high in New York, you would get expansion, you know, right to your target most likely. I don't know that we're going to get that here. Scan order books so you can't look at what the wicks are doing. That's true too. Less than 800 connies. Makes sense. So once we push through the 0550s here, we will go break even. So it'll be risk off at that point. And then it's either target or stop loss. Those are the options. Yeah, exactly. DJ in the house. Good morning. All right. So we breached that. So now break even stop here. Literally just one tick above is all we're going to do to cover the commissions. So risk off trade here. So now we're either going to get $200 or nothing. And I wouldn't scale right there at that swing because it's not 10 points. I mean, obviously I couldn't scale. I've only got one contract. But if you were going to scale, you would want it to be 10 points. So, Shredaggle's out at 604. Nice job. Nice trade. Like I said, I'm either going to get nothing or $200. So, and I'm not going to move my stop. A lot of times, um, I'll move my stop into the green here, four or five points, and then it just it touches me and goes. So, we're just going to wait and see here. Like I said, once the trade kind of gets the risk off, it's risk off, right? You just take what you take or or you don't. Hey, 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 Dave. Well, in the house. Thank you for your subscription. You the man. You the man. Welcome to the methodical crew here. Mm, one tick away. going on, Seb? Was that really one tick away from my <laughs> my TP? Oh. One tick away from my TP. I, I, that just drives me nuts when it does that. Anybody who watched my New York session the other day, that literally did that to me <laughs> and then went all the way back down and hit my stop loss. Yeah, runner would have been nicer, Daggle. We never retested the gap here. Close. 
couple ticks away. If we retest, I'm going to add. And it's going to bring my average down. But like here, I mean, really it wasn't worth adding. It's two points below my entry. All right, we take the long duck dong here. Take the long duck dong. I think that's a bull trap. Could be flying. I don't know. Is it? It just trapped me if it is. I'm being a little more aggressive on this account, guys, so do not do what I do. Flying, why didn't you tell me that before I entered, man? So dirty. I don't know if I want to add one here. Do we dare? No, the problem is we're on the five minute here, and it takes a long time for it to close below. So that's the only thing I don't like about this. I don't know if we could take, uh, let's see here. Well, actually, we could watch the one minute. And if we close below on the one minute, then we could just take it off. Uh, maybe two minute might actually have a better two minute. So we'll watch the two minute here. That's what we'll look for here. So if we close below on the two minute here, then that would kind of be a, a bearish deal there. So that's what we'll use to watch the two minutes. Nice kid poker. How was the chicken? How was the chicken? I'm going to move my target up there to the. Um, actually, let's just target up here. Why not? We're going to target 737. We're going to hold this one. I'm not going to break even stop it until we hit here. So I'm not going to break even stop this one until we hit this internal liquidity at 22. <clears throat> now if we close below here, we just take it off for a loss. That's the idea. That's going to be the idea on this trade. We're either going to make 30 points or we're going to lose, you know, I don't know, 20. 20 ish points, probably. Yeah, still magnetized to that pivot right there. Starting to rip here. There we go. Like I said, 722 is, yeah, you know, chicken sucked like the market. <laughs> the market doesn't suck if you're long duck dong. Uh, kid poker, come on, man. Just uh, join the bulls. Come over to the bull side. Maybe murdering a bike can save you. I don't know, Kid Poker. This don't look that weak to me, but, I mean, it's just me. I don't know. Trust the algorithm. No! Pulling back on us, pulling back. ES is kind of rejecting that pivot there. Got to get the ES above that pivot. 68 pivot on the ES there. Got to get above that to get going here.
Makes no sense. He was down almost 1%. I mean, Kit Poker, we're, we're scalping, though. We can't really care if the market's up or down. Let's just take what the market gives us. If it gives us uh, red, we take it. If it gives us green, we take it. Let's just take what it gives us. You know what I might do here? I may put a hard stop right here because we have this fair value gap here. And if this, if this, even if it doesn't, even if it hits this without closing below, it's still not bullish, right? So I think I am going to just put a hard stop right there. So risking 15 handles or 20 handles there. If ES hits 48.90, you'll take your setup. It might. Oh, 48.90? You think we're going to sell down 70 points? Oh, no, 49.80. Yeah, it might. I think 80s within play here. All right, so technically speaking, I am supposed to break even stop my trade if we go back above this swing. Technically speaking here. Because we should get some expansion up into the 20s there quickly. I don't know that we will, though. We'll see. All right. I don't know. Do we follow the rules? I mean, even though we're just on an eval here, I think we still probably should follow the rules. That's five and a half points there. It's not a huge distance away from our entry, but those are the rules. So I don't think we should trade this account any different than what we would normally trade uh, any other account. So if we do breach this swing, we will go break even. So Room Beats wants it to bleed. What room? I'm long. I'm long duck dong over here. You want to see the fair value gap field? Abadow, come on now. You see I'm long. What are you rooting against me for? Yeah, ES has been just sideways. No, I'm not in Boston. I'm in Georgia. Um, my One of my best friends lives in Boston. Oh, you're telling me that what you, what it's going to do? Oh, <laughs> it might. You're just the messenger. Oh. Write the news down, write the new rules down, use them for 24 hours. No, I don't want new rules per se. I'm okay with the rules as they are. I just kind of tweak them a little bit from the London session just because London seems to hit those stops a little fast, hit, hit the stops a little more. Not quite as much follow through. Gabriel, I am uh, just outside of Athens, Georgia. Northeast Georgia. Just outside of Athens, Georgia. Home of the dogs. Not looking too promising here. Oh, you're saying no changing the rules. Yeah, I'm not changing them. All right. Well, looking bad. Looking bad. Fifteen seconds left on this candle.
Wicking off the 618 there. It did not close below, but I'll probably just take this off for a loss here in a moment. If it doesn't push back up. Jonathan Huard. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to the Methodical Crew. You man. Thank you for your subscription. Welcome in. Welcome in. <clears throat> hmm. Bouncing off the 618 there on the Nebula. I want to add, but adding didn't work out too well for me on the last, <laughs> the last one. So, probably not going to add. Well, actually, I guess it did help average me down a little bit. Yeah, I like Athens. Born and raised here. So, if we do get back above this swing here, we will break even stop this thing. I know I said here, but since we created a new swing, that is now following the rules, and so that's what we'll do. Rippy, rippy, rippy. I guess we should have added to our position. It's always in hindsight, right? In hindsight, we should have added right here at the bottom of this wick. Time to practice guitar. Nothing wrong with that, kid poker. Not a bad idea. All right, above the swing here, we'll go break even. Probably we'll just get stopped break even, which is not the worst thing in the world. Yes, finally breaking above the uh, pivot there. I'm liking that. Room's just the messenger, that's all. No move <laughs> at 11 a.m. Get above the swing. Let's get above the swing and rocket ship. We might consider taking profit at that one minute fair value gap that we've been knocked down at several times today. <clears throat> Assuming we get there. Assuming we don't get stop break even. Come on, you dirty girl. Get above that swing and quit playing around. She's just playing around with me right now. Just teasing me. Rip it. Oh, well. We tried. Now you need the ES to stay above that pivot there at the uh, 68s. Pulling back into that pivot there, trying to anyway. I want to add one here. Conditions looking great. I mean, they look fine. I'm just saying, like, I don't, you know. I'd rather be in a risk-free trade right now, you know? That's all. We'd rather just get to a risk-free trade. So we need to get that right there to hit. I mean, it was literally one tick away. Two ticks, three ticks. Should go here. We'll see. Can it go? Can it do it? Maybe. Maybe not. We're just waiting. We're going to follow the rules. If it gets uh, if it hits 710.50, then we uh, we go break even. 
And then from there, we just see what happens. Target 37's up there. Now, I don't want it to be an exact like tick like that when it's got to break through there. I think it's above. I don't know. 720. I would think, but I don't know. I mean, it might, all, it might go all the way to 739, but how does it get there, right? All right, if this thing pulls back here, I'm going to add one and put the take profit on it right at that, at those equal highs there. <clears throat> Buy side liquidity, Duke DeCo says. And let's see if you can trade lean hog futures for the win. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Elito, you've been in a short from 85. What? What are you doing, Elito? Break even stop. Break even stop. So we managed this one properly. So if we get paid, we get paid. If we don't, we don't. We managed it properly. Should I take, do you guys think I should take profit at 715? Or should we leave it to 722? How many times it came back down? Yeah. I think we hit 722. If we hit 722, I'm going to lock in 715. How about that? That might make sense. <clears throat> Thank you, thank you, thank you. Was up four to five points away from VWAP. That sucks. You never closed it. Yeah, I don't blame you. Yeah, I think 39 might come, but if we hit 22, I'm going to lock in the bottom of this gap. Um, let's see if we get, let's go to the one minute, and if we close above this gap on the one minute, then that would be a little more confidence that it should go there break even stops in so can't lose here <coughs> you're hurting from the unrealized gain from earlier oh, that sucks after all the consolidations you're pretty sure we take the liquidity me too duke i feel that way too yeah risk-free trade sammy exactly so there's nothing nothing to worry about here we did lock in uh 85 dollars in profit after that first Take profit there. Do you guys see why I pyramided there? Because those equal highs, we left those equal highs, so it was like 100% chance we were at least going to hit those equal highs. SMT on the five. Yeah, ES did just take a take the high there, so do need to be careful here. Of course, our break even stops in, so we can't lose. So We cannot lose. I'm getting a call from the Netherlands. No, thank you. Should go to 40, you would think. Well, it depends on how it gets there is the only thing. It might come down and hit me before it goes. We'll see. Looking like it wants to get me. You wouldn't mind a sudden flush to view up. <laughs> come on, Alito. No, I'm fine with that, Alito. I've already locked in my profit. I locked in $85, so... We locked in eighty five bucks, so if you need to go to the VWAP, we'll take. Now you do got all this low, uh, this low resistance liquidity down here, so could eventually go there. I just don't know that it will. If we close above here on the one minute, then that's going to be pretty strong to the upside here.
Here's the thing. Normally, I'd be trying to lock in some gains here, but then I get stopped out and it goes without me. So we're not moving the stop at all. It's sitting right there. If we hit 22, if we close above the gap at 22, then we will lock in nine handles to 15 because I think that's logical. And we'll go from there. Dollars being real candy, candy, cantankerous, bash. I don't know what that means in this range. So let's see if she rips here or not. Yes, did hit the 71s there, made a new high. NASDAQ still has not made a new high. Up next, 77 on the ES. It's tapped 71.50 so far. <coughs> so we'll see what happens here. We're just waiting. We need to see a boner candle to the upside. Sorry, Alito. <laughs> Sorry, Alito, for calling for the boner candle when you're short. The boner candle. If you guys are interested in trading futures, the best overall cost that you can get right now is going to be with my funded futures link, pinned link in the in the uh, chat there. February 10 for the 50K is the code. February 1500K, 20th for the uh, 150, and then resets February 25 for $75 resets. There you go. Link pinned in the chat there. Helps support the channel if you want to. Also, $35 resets on Apex. Don't forget, $49 accounts for uh, Top Step. There you go. You got to know when to pump them. You know when to dump them. Know when to cut the pyramid. Know when to pyramid and when not, when to cut it. Yeah, true. I do think if this thing does dump, it is going to take the elevator. It's going to be a fast dump. This thing's just grinding. Well, we're in an eval here. We're at break even, so I'm not really, you know, this is a, this is when the kind of trade you like. Woohoo! All right, now where did my uh, where did my stop go? Anybody know? Oh, I gotta. There we go. I gotta put that there. How come I can't get to it? I can't move my stop. I wanted to move my stop and lock some in. I can, oh, wait. I can grab it right here. I forgot. I had that happen one time before. All right. I got to lock some in here because, all right, we'll lock in 12. There we go. I forgot I got to hit the thing there. Oh. Uh, sung in the tune of the gambler. Know when to hold them, know when to fold them. True. I don't love that wick. How we just ran that liquidity with a wick there. That's not a good good sign for the uh, bulls here. It's actually a good sign for Lido. All right, we're going to log in 14, 15, 16 is 10 handles. All right, 16 it is. Log it in 16. We'll leave it there. He wants me to hold the trade to four? Not likely. Can't do it. You had it also today, trying for the first time. Yeah, I forgot. You gotta, you gotta hit the middle section there. All right, we closed above there, guys. That's bad news for you, Alito. This is good news for this long. Twenty-eight fifties for sure is going to be hit here. We hit twenty-eight fifty. We're locking in twenty-two. We're just going to trail it up, level to level. We're just going to lock it in, level to level here. Abado, Abado, beautiful delivery. It is, it is indeed. We've been trying so hard to follow our rules, and it's been tough. I've been mismanaging stuff, but not today. Today we are all right. 
So there we go, locking in 18 handles. Might trail this a little too tight, but that's fine. 37's incoming here. Again, we hit 39. So we'll, uh, since we are trading into a bearish gap at 32, I'll probably lock in 28. We should get some expansion here if this thing's really going to go. <clears throat> we are up $500 on this account right now, 575 So once we get into the 30s here, I'm going to lock in 28. I realize it's five handles behind, but Tom Sabo in the house saying beautiful trade. Beautiful trade. Finally, we get a beautiful trade, Tom. It's not on a funded account, but it's on any account. Let's go. ES up to 74 is here. <coughs> Tap the 75s and then pull back a little bit there. Let's see if it wants to keep going. Now the question is, do we move our stop once we hit this gap? I think we do. I think we move it. All right, there we go. I think we do. So locking in 28.50, now it's 28.50 or 39 and a quarter. Those are the options. Abido's done. Rip it. All right, now we're just waiting. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Is it going to be 22 handles or 32 handles that we're getting right here? I think this might be my biggest trade ever on stream, guys. Really? You see that thing, guys? You see that thing? Buy side taken? It didn't take me. <laughs> it didn't take me, Duke. It took me that time. All right, that's going to do it for the highlights. As you can see there, took a few trades. Uh, nothing crazy. But a pretty solid Monday, if you ask me. If you guys are interested in trading futures, we've got all the links down below. Top Step, Apex, Bulanox, Take Profit Trader, and My Funded Futures. Check those links out. My Funded Futures is probably going to be the best deal right now. We've got the link in the, for the description for the Discord as well. We are going to be doing a live stream from the Discord later in the week. Only in the Discord. You'll be able to uh, communicate with me back and forth through the Discord. I'm going to have the voice chat on. Not going to turn, not going to log you guys out. I don't think there'll be a ton of people in there. So it'll be much more um, kind of one-on-one -on -one there, if you will. Much more intimate. I don't know what you want to call it. But anyways, that's it. We'll see you guys live 2 a.m. Eastern for the London session, 9.15 a.m. Eastern for the New York. Thank you for watching. See you next time.